Look at that sweet um, hieroglyphic on the wall. That like derpy whale. Oh, it's the ghost! Welcome back to Sonic Adventure Battle 2. <laughs> um, we're fighting this thing. It's like a like Slimer's cousin who has some like learning disability. Mm, that's insensitive. No, it's fine. I'm not saying it's bad. This is the case. He gets extra time on tests. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> are you just are you just letting the sun in or what? Yeah. Okay. I have to loop around him. You got a rainbow tongue. Yeah. You know who else has a rainbow tongue? Uh, you? Correct. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I actually make rainbows on my tongue. On your tongue? Yeah, I taste tongue? the rainbow. Okay. Skittles. <laughs> um, if you had to describe yourself using a hieroglyphic, what would you use? Um, that bird head man that's looking raw? to the side. Anubis, I believe. No, no it's no, raw. raw. I meant the uh, Anubis, but um, I just said bird for some reason. Cause you're you're actually raw. I'm raw, man. <laughs> WWE. <laughs> raw. Uh, shout out to uh, who? Should I shout out to John Cena. No. <laughs> uh, and by Cena we mean like C. Nah. Nah. D. John D. <laughs> Rockefeller. <laughs> Best WWE fighter. <laughs> was, he's real underdog. He's actually an overdog. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> he just like just beat everyone into submission. No, he used a dog to fly. Oh, so he's over a dog. <laughs> oh, it's a very strange uh, wrestling persona. I'm not gonna lie. It's no Jake the Snake Roberts mm. or um, what's that guy's name? Uh, Ricky the Steamboat Dragon or Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Oh. It's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Because his name is Ricky Steamboat. <laughs> but his nickname is Dragon. I wish my name was Dra was Steamboat. Really? Nope. Just Nash Steamboat. Nash the Body Steamboat. Yeah. Nash Biscuit Pants Steamboat. <laughs> Steamboat? Steamboat. <laughs> Stands for potable. Steam potable. So I'm drinkable. Mm. My steam is drinkable. <laughs> uh, shouts out to uh, creator of Steam. Um, water. <laughs> I, I mean, the sun. God. Yeah, the sun. The Holy Spirit. Yep. Let us pray. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's getting close to biting me with your tongue. Not how you bite. It's more of a tongue slap. <laughs> that's, that's how I bite. <laughs> with your tongue. <laughs> You're a lick a tongue? Yes. Or a licky licky if you've evolved? Uh, I think that's the pre-evolution season. Oh, you're right. What's the uh, evolution? I don't know. There's Megalicky? <laughs> it's, no, it's got another form. It's just, it's just a tongue. <laughs> it's just it's a human tongue. It's evolved to just be a photorealistic picture of a tongue. Everyone has one. Except for uh, Pokemon exists. But only the evolution of like a tongue. What if we live in the world where Pokemon exist, but they used to exist and then have evolved into real animals? And the, the evolution is dumb. I reject it now. I want Pokemon back. <laughs> like all lizards used to have fires in the tail, but then they realized there was rain. <laughs> so it evolved. They to realized not... <laughs> it was there was rain. <laughs> so then they evolved to not have fire on their tail because that's stupid. That is pretty stupid. Yeah. Uh, there used to be far fetched, but then ducks were like, I don't need this leak. <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason. <laughs> the one that was like, fuck leaks was. The one that like had sex, because <laughs> other ducks were like, "You're right, it is weird they have leaks." <laughs> Just like a lot of dumb ducks. That's what Farfetch do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Intriguing Pokemon talk. Yeah. Um. How about there used to be Squirtles, but then they just got dumb. <laughs> they got dumb. They got dumb. <laughs> Sounds like someone else got dumb. Uh. This ghost. I mean, it's pretty dumb. This is the. This is uh, actually they pitched this game to uh, the Ghostbusters team as this is the new Ghostbusters game. Mm -hmm. But then they didn't like it, so instead they sold it to Sonic Team. And they're like, "Yeah, we love it." <laughs> this was gonna be the whole Ghostbusters game. Uh, terrible game. You play as Venkman. You just run around a circle. As a as Slammer follows you. Hmm. Slammer. <laughs> Slammer. <laughs> Everyone's favorite Ghostbuster character, Slammer. 
I use the ghost of someone who died during sex. <laughs> oh. But it's also, he died having sex while also eating uh, Denny's Grand Slam. <laughs> That's what he's known for. <laughs> yep. What was that ghost of that guy who died while having sex and eating a Grand Slam all at once? Oh, all at once? Yeah, I know, it's very impressive. There's a reason he has notoriety. Like, I can barely do one. <laughs> what? Which one? Eat a Grand Slam. <laughs> the other I cannot do. Huh. I can partially eat a Grand Slam. I can be like, eggs. Okay. That's what I say every time I'm <laughs> I like. I don't think they set it down in front of you. Eggs. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like you've accepted the challenge. Whenever I go to Denny's, they just gift me with a grand slam. I never know what's coming. At some point, you think I'd learn. You learn? I'd learn that they'd give me a grand slam. Every time I walk in, sit down, someone walks up, places the grand slam in front of me, and I say, "Thanks." Okay. <laughs> challenge accepted. Show you a grand slam. Get that coin ring. I already got one. I didn't see it. This is so dumb. Like, I need to wait until he. he curve it. Is he from Wanted? <laughs> That's the only skill you learn from Wanted. <laughs> right. Curve fire. From being on the Wanted list, I would make it clear. Okay. That's the same as being on Wanted. Every terrorist can curve bullets. Fun fact. Uh, that'd be a big problem. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Which is why Terum, Terrorism. Terum? Terum. Terran Killum of SNL fame. That's why he still exists today. He's an ISIS, fun fact. <laughs> That's a bold claim. <laughs> this is this is my ploy to win the heart of Colby Smolders. They're married. Who they are married? <laughs> they're married. <laughs> right, because they're married in real life. Karen Kellum and Colby Smolders. But uh, if I convince Colby Smolders that maybe her husband is an ISIS. Convince? <laughs> like, you have a case you present? Yes. Uh, Kobe, thanks for seeing me today. That was um, I want to just thank you for your time. Has Sock's been stretching the whole time? <laughs> mm. Come and get some egg man. Hello. I mean, he's very weak. What was that? <laughs> The old nose rub air uh, pet. Metal move. My servant? Oh. It's uh, not a robot, it's a magic beam. Magic stone, uh, Whoa. Sphinx. Awesome. This is really out of left field. Yeah. Also, it's two bosses in a row. <laughs> Man, that's um, some bullshit. Do you think I can beat this boss? Um, Let's find out. Do you think I would beat it? Find out next time. <laughs> Uh, actually, I think this one's easier. Let's see if you can beat this before the episode ends. Whoop! Yep. Hit that eye. Never mind. Don't. <laughs> was wrong. I'm so sorry. I didn't even attack. I just touched. Who it. placed that nuke on its head? Do you think? That nuke? Yeah. Short for new kid. <laughs> Who placed that new kid on his head? <laughs> 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 Uh -oh. Like there are other kids here. <laughs> like it's not saying much for a Sonic game if just this big slow thing can move its hands as quickly as Sonic can run. This egg game is not a good advertisement for Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, nothing is a good ad for Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh! <laughs> what about an ad for Sonic the Hedgehog? Is that a good ad for Sonic the Hedgehog? No. What if it's a good ad? It's not for Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> for Garnier Fructis? Yeah. It's just an ad starring Jennifer Garner. Garner Fructis? <laughs> Garner. That's not what I meant. Because she actually is in Garnier Fructis oh, ads sometimes. She? Yeah. Is that why she's named that? <laughs> Jennifer Garnier Fructis? She's named She needs to uh, divorce whoever she's married to. I think she's married. And marry someone with last name Fructis. Yeah. And then hyphen her last name. Hyphen her last name? Yeah, so it's Jennifer Garnier for peace. <laughs> Listen, uh, Garnier Fructis advertisement people, if you're watching, get on this. <laughs> on this Sphinx, man. <laughs> Come on, help us out, what are you doing? <laughs> I need help from Garnier Fructis. Garnier Fructis? Garnier Fructis. <laughs> 
problem solved. Kanye changes his last name to Fruit Teeth. He married Chief for Gardner. <laughs> Hollywood matchmaker is what I am. I'll tell you what. I mean, Fruit Teeth is a much better last name than West. <laughs> it's like my... One of my bottom four directions names. <laughs> bottom four directions. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is... Where does this cutscene come from? Why is it so, like, pre-rendered? Uh... To some for all the detail. This who? <laughs> <laughs> who? Uh, what's happening? When did they? <laughs> when did they hollow out the pyramid? It was hollow all along. Oh, well, here we are in space. Yep. Well, <laughs> I assume this has called an, caused an international incident. <laughs> I'm sure it has. War has begun on Earth. It's a new space race. The only winner is Sonic. <laughs> he's, he's pretty fast. Uh, to win the space race. That's what he's really after, winning the space race. Gotta go fast. And they ran the into race. a giant rock. <sighs> it's called an asteroid. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. It's just... Really? They lost the ammo pieces in space? Why? Why did, why did the rocket ship have all the chaos on it? Because Knuckles was with them. How? <laughs> only Sonic ran them. Yeah. Maybe they went to the spaceship first. There's other people screaming. I mean, the spaceship's out of control. <laughs> it should be screaming. This was the plot to Apollo 13, right? This? <laughs> yeah. I didn't see it, but I assume it was just Tom Hanks played Sonic. Well, um, I don't think Ben they... Affleck played Tails. Maybe he played, he played Amy. I thought it exploded. <laughs> if it did, if that is indeed in the... In the film... In real life. Oh, yeah. And also the film. Tom Hanks is in it in real life. He died and came back to life. <laughs> Pretty skilled actor. <laughs> He's a method actor. You <laughs> have to die in a spaceship. The method was dying in a spaceship. <laughs> that is dedication. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Well, um... It's an abandoned arc. The thing she knows. And yeah. no one else does. A secret spaceship face. Um... Also, they, they've done this within 24 hours. <laughs> Did he have that... Was he in that in the spaceship, do you think? What? In his legs, robo-legs airplane? I don't know. Wait. If um, Eggman unleashed the guy to fight Sonic just now, mm-hmm. did he take a separate spaceship up to the space colony? <laughs> or was he in the same one? There's a bunch of spaceships in, in the pyramids. Each pyramid has like nine spaceships. Hmm. Also, this is a fake Chaos Emerald. <laughs> It reverses the energy. If you can make that, why can't you just make a Chaos Emerald? I don't know. Oh, so it's, you can replace it? Um, it'll just destroy the whole control room? Okay. Huh. So that's what the plan is. The machine has stopped right now. Yep. Um. Bye, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> why did you come? What did you think was going to happen here? <laughs> oh, she has. she plays a very important role soon. We're at the Eternal Engine. Yep. But we'll see this one next time. We will destroy time. the Colony's Power Generator next time on Did You Know Gaming? Because that was the same episode. Is it? Yeah, I think <laughs> so. Um, this episode was brought to you by... Um, uh, non-Eternal Engines. Uh, external <laughs> Engines. Uh, do you want an en- engine on the inside? Too bad. External Engines. <laughs>